Day 580. Today there is a lot of news from the Northeast. Here, Ukrainians have conducted so many successful strikes over the last several days that the mayor of Kursk decided to cancel the celebration of the birthday of the city. First of all, today Ukrainian special forces conducted a successful drone strike in this region. The target of the drone strike became a substation near Snagost that powered at least seven settlements. And as a result, all nearby settlements experienced a blackout. The goal of this strike was to cut off power from the Russian military near the border. Simultaneously, the head of Ukrainian intelligence reported that the Russian Volunteer Corps, which is a detachment that consists of the Russian citizens that are fighting on the Ukrainian side, conducted another raid in the Kursk region. The insurgents crossed the border, assaulted Russian border guards and soldiers, inflicted losses and returned back. Prior to that, Ukrainians also attacked the regional center itself. Local residents reported hearing multiple explosions, and as revealed by the footage, at least one drone managed to hit its target. As it turned out, the drone hit the headquarters of the Russian Federal Security Services. Later, Russian sources confirmed that some drones managed to pass through the air defense, however noted without specification that an administrative building was damaged. Another explosion was recorded on the outskirts of the city near the Halina airfield. Local residents reported that something hit an oil depot near the airfield. Interestingly, the drones were not spotted in this region, which is why some sources speculate that the explosion happened in the aftermath of the malfunction of the Russian air defense that tried to protect the airfield. And a day prior, Ukrainians also successfully hit precisely this airfield. However, this time, instead of targeting aviation, Ukrainians targeted the pilots and their commanders located in the headquarters in the nearby settlement. Immediately after this strike, some Russian military bloggers started expressing their condolences, which means that the strike was likely successful. Later, Ukrainian intelligence reported that according to the obtained information from the site, the commander of the 14th Aviation Regiment, at least one of his deputies, a group of pilots and a security services representative were either injured or killed. Due to the very saturated week, the mayor of Kursk decided to cancel the celebration with fireworks of the birthday of the city. The Ukrainian drones were also spotted today in the Bransk region. Some analysts claim that the drone was used for reconnaissance purposes because it was not the usual model that is used for attacks. So the drone was likely testing the Russian air defense in the region prior to a bigger strike. In the Belgorod region, however, the drones were of regular type. As can be seen from the footage, this is the same drone that Ukrainians used for many strikes, including the ones in Moscow. Local residents reported an explosion somewhere near Dmitrievka. However, due to the sparseness of the region, no explosions were captured on video, which is why this strike was ignored by the Russian sources. But the biggest strike happened in the Luhansk region. Here, Ukrainian forces targeted a huge ammunition depot that Russian forces created on the territory of the former factory. The factory is located in the deep rear, where there has been no fighting since 2014, so the Russians have accumulated a lot of ammunition inside the unharmed by the war facilities. Russian sources reported that the strike was conducted with Storm Shadow missiles that were launched from the Kramatorsk area 150 kilometers away from the target. Russian analysts pointed out that there are no strikes in the deep rear in the Luhansk region for quite a while, and a rapid shift of focus may indicate that Ukrainians may have some serious plans regarding the encirclement of the Solodar and Bakhmut group. If you are against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I am doing, Consider making a purchase in the online store, UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.